simple doesn't mean bad. And who said that actually? IP dome camera IMO T22A is really simple, nice and inexpensive solution for indoor installation with a few drawbacks, but at such a price, the advantages surpass the drawbacks. This video is a brief but full review of the IMO T22A IP dome camera on the People Systems channel. And in our store, you can get this camera and many other civilian tech. My name is Daniel, and we begin. Subscribe to People Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. Main things to know about the IMO T22A. Get the classic 2 megapixel 1080p, which is common and looks okay, but it's time to move on and go even higher in the entry level equipment. Anyway, here is the video from the camera in the maximum quality 25 frames per second, 120 degrees field of view, and with quite a high intensity of the scene. And it looks good except a high video compression and usual blurriness. Colors are okay, lighting is okay too, I actually always liked the quality of videos taken on IMO cameras, taking into account their price and the fact that they are from home segment. So there are three versions with different focal length, that is 2.8, 3.6 and 6mm, and this is how your field of view looks with 2.8mm. This is how it looks for 3.6, approximately. And this is how it looks with 6mm. And by the way, concerning the video compression, we have here 265th Condex support on board, turned on by the default from the box, which in most makes the video file size decrease in two times compared to the old 264th. And also, keep in mind that the video file size directly depends on the scene intensity. The more motion, the bigger video file you get on an output. Here below, under the camera module, we've got infrared LEDs for the night vision. Well, according to the manufacturer's statement, providing a clear night vision on up to 30 meters distance away from the camera. And uh, here you go the video to see and estimate with your own eyes. From my point of view, it looks okay, does what it's supposed to do and does it good, more or less. What's indeed unusual for IMO, this time we don't have any Wi-Fi support on board, yet the device is now positioned in a different way, because um, both the network and power are supplied via the twisted pair cable from a POV switch uh, to this tail and this is the only option. So yeah, you have here such a tail for the RJ45. And by the way, the body is made completely out of plastic, so it won't be particularly suitable for the street installation. Well, maybe only under a canopy. Although the temperature indicator allows us to do that, up to minus 30 degrees. And now the better part. What had to be sacrificed to reduce the price and make this camp really affordable? As I mentioned earlier, we are left without Wi-Fi support. I mean, uh... Further on, there is no built-in slot for a memory card, which is indeed strange, taking into account that all new IMO cameras have 256 gigs microSD support, and it's a standard already for an IMO. But the manufacturer tries to replace this shortage with the UNVEF support, like making it easy to bring the camera to any video recorder with the UNVEF support, well, meaning most of video recorders. The next one is really eye-catching, so no two-way audio at all. No microphone, no speaker, which actually disappoints, because for the home camera segment it has been an absolute standard for a long time. And what's left to say is about the motion detection. Here it is down through software level, but actually it works well. And here's the demo.
All right, now here goes uh, from this. You get the free IMO app out of the App Store, the Google Play, depending on the on your phone's operating system. Then the camera, the only option that we have now to uh, to power it on and to get it a network, we need the uh, cable, twisted back cable to the RJ45 uh, due to the PoE features. So it's either a PoE switch or the PoE injector. I have the PoE injector here. So what I do, as you can see, the LEN here and the PoE on the notebook here. So what I do, basically plug in, doing it. It's perfect, fine. And normally you see the IR indication in here. We've got the infrared night vision here up to 30 meters away from the camera. And um, normally it appears here, should light up, but doesn't this time, but whatever. Normally for this cameras, this one powers up really fast. I'm just talking so because I'm waiting <laughs> till it powers on. All right, from here, plus scan QR code. Now you're gonna locate this QR code the, on the button, on the back, or somewhere on the uh, product box. And this time we have it on the back. Simply scanning it. Next, I'm gonna take like, I don't know, five seconds, normally. And the device edit successfully, maybe later. There we go, the live view. And what I really like, what I really appreciate about the IMO, let me just switch on to the HD quality, the latency. It's great. I, I don't see such a great response time often. So yeah, it's, it's awesome. Even though it's the HD quality was nice intensity because there's a motion I'm moving on. All right, so you can take a snapshot, you can have a recording, no two-way audio, the speaker or microphone here. You can do it like this, split screen. Uh, inside of the settings, what, well, all that you can actually do this time, it's, well, activate the alerts, uh, notifications, and uh, arm settings, so the motion detection. And here in the motion detection, you've got such thing as human detection. It says it kind of turns on some AI, artificial intelligence. I'm not sure, but I will tell, uh, but uh, what I can certainly tell that it's quite precise and it's nice. And that's it. This is a simple, lightweight, nice and inexpensive camera. Well, inexpensive due to the sacrifices done to make such a price. However, if these sacrifices are not important for you, it turns out to be a normal saving and the Dome IMO T22A is a good choice. And if you like it, follow this link to get it on the People System Store or the one in the description. We've got it shipping over UK, Europe and many other countries. And thank you for watching.